Hello and a very warm welcome to you all. Thank you for attending this meeting. I hope you find it helpful and instructive. I would also like to thank the conference coordinators for this valuable opportunity. Thanks to my co-authors and dear professors, Dr. Ahmadi and Dr. Hamidi for their cherished contributions uh, to this research project. As you can see, my presentation is entitled a study on the effect of teaching the subject of energy using a STEM approach on a student's reasoning and problem solving skills. I will be discussing different aspects of my research as briefly and in more, in more informatively as possible. Okay, uh, according to Neil deGrasse Tyson, a scientist and a child are both inherently skeptical, curious, and inquisitive, so it is uh, plausible to think that children are scientists by nature. That's why lessons learned in schools, especially science, should aim to maintain and develop these qualities in children. This gives teaching science the utmost importance as ineffective teaching may destroy the natural abilities of children. Unfortunately, this is a prevailing issue in many schools today. The world is constantly changing. The coronavirus pandemic has been a severe issue. It has caused numerous challenges and unforeseen changes in different aspects of human life, including education. An important change resulting from the pandemic was turning to blended learning. In blended learning, face-to-face -face and virtual learning are integrated, each bringing forth its advantages. Changes occur at an incredible pace in today's world. The world in 10 hours will not be the same as the world at the moment. Now let's see what the world will be like in 10 years. An entirely new world indeed. But uh, why does that matter? Teachers are responsible for preparing and training students as the future workplace workforce to address matters of the future. Such examples are integrated and interdisciplinary matters, which will be critical in the new unknown future world. Therefore, we must focus on developing students' basic skills. You can check a reliable list of future careers available in the Scientix database. So far, we are clear on the expansive changes taking place all, all around us. It is then uh, safe to say that uh, education requires a change in alignment with world changes. Unfortunately, numerous classes are still operating based on conventional methods, rendering the students passive learners. Uh, such classes are often unproductive, but uh, can we make such a claim? Yes, uh, by referring to team's test results. This test is given by the IEA every four years to evaluate the student's success rate in learning science and math. The test results uh, in my country, Iran, show that common teaching methods are not efficient enough to empower students. Team's test consists uh, of three cognitive domains, uh, including knowing, applying and reasoning. Regrettably, most Iranian students have difficulty solving conceptual problems and answering the, the questions of the reasoning domain. With this background, is there a need for change? If so, how should this change take place? Okay, the STEM approach is a prominent education reform strategy. It is a combination of science, technology, engineering, and math. I'm sure you are all familiar with the subject. In this approach, engineering serves as a contextual integrator. By designing a suitable project, we can blend the four disciplines of STEM education. The main goal of STEM is a purposive assimilation of education and work. In STEM, depending on the teacher's skill, uh, a real problem is presented to the class. It attracts uh, the student's attention and actively engages them. Since the problem is taken out of the real world, it is solvable by blended the STEM disciplines. Notably, STEM is a spectrum of strategies and techniques. Also, STEM can be integrated on different levels, and we don't have to integrate the four disciplines all at once. In other words, STEM is operable in classes by a variety of techniques. 
A good example of the STEM approach would be one of my friend's uh, thesis. Uh, he used the mass discipline to simulate and destroy tumors, a beautiful blend of biology and mathematics. In the current research, one of the projects was the water wheel project. The four STEM disciplines were integrated into our water wheel project. Here you can see a few samples of the water wheel made by my students. Uh, so far, we've gone over the existing shortcoming and possible solutions. Now let's take a look at the main research question. Can integrated STEM education positively influence the students' reasoning and problem-solving skills? Teams test results and globalized STEM uh, accentuate the importance of this research. It is noteworthy that STEM originated from John Dewey's views toward active learning. STEM seeks uh, to cultivate major future skills known as uh, 21st century skills. Uh, reasoning and problem solving uh, are among these and essential to critical thinking. So we should uh, investigate the impact of different teaching methods on such skills. Okay, we selected the first graders of secondary schools given their mental flexibility and choosing the subject of energy was due to its importance, generality, and its possibility of integration. Uh, in this section, you see the conceptual diagram of this study used to assess the effects of uh, integrated STEM education on reasoning, problem solving, and its subscales. Uh, in this part, uh, we see the research objectives. The main objective was uh, investigating the effect of combined physics education with the STEM approach on reasoning and problem solving skills of the students. As for the secondary objectives, we investigated the effects of the STEM-based approach on each research variable separately while teaching the subject of energy. Okay, the main research hypothesis uh, was as follows. Integrated STEM education has a positive and significant effect on each variable separately. Uh, type of research in terms of uh, purpose is practical. Uh, this research is a semi-experimental design of pre-test, post-test type with control group. Uh, the sample includes uh, 77 grade uh, male students from Tohid and Ganjifar schools. And a statistical society is uh, all male students of the seventh grade of the first secondary school in Tabotkan region of Mashhad. Uh, okay. As for methodology, the research subject uh, was chosen after initial discussions. Then lesson plans uh, were extracted from school books to prepare a new lesson plan for the study. Uh, afterward, data collection tools were selected, two instruments were used. Uh, a researcher made a scale with six items and a cognitive domain focused on reasoning based on the team's 2023 assessment framework. The obtained score indicated the student's reasoning skill. The reliability and validity of the scale were confirmed with the Chromebox Alpha equaling 0.75. Uh, we also employed uh, Hepner's problem solving inventory with uh, 35 items and three subscales of uh, problem solving confidence, the approach avoidance style and personal control. The tool's uh, reliability was confirmed and estimated uh, at 0 0.88 in our study. Okay, initially typical lesson plans were provided, then STEM-based lesson plans were prepared based on the recommended pattern in the integrated STEM teaching for secondary schools rerun workshop, also known as integrated learning scenario. To manage virtual and face-to-face -face classes, we used an integrated rotation model of flipped learning. Okay, uh, to implement the study, the test and control groups uh, participated in a pre-test. After that, the lesson plans were presented to each group in nine 80-minute uh, sessions. In the end, both groups uh, took part in a post-test.
Okay, data analysis was performed in SBSS 19 using descriptive statistics and statistical indexes to describe the samples. The research hypothesis were also assessed using inferential statistics uh, and generalized by ANCOVA. As the first hypothesis, we predicted that integrated STEM education would have positive significant effects on the students' reasoning skill. As you can see in the table above, uh, the test group obtained a, a higher mean score than the control group, also on COVA and significance of less than 0 0.05, confirmed this hypothesis at a 95% confidence level. Therefore, uh, the test group uh, receiving uh, STEM-based education had better reasoning skill compared to the controls. Uh, this is consistent uh, with the finding uh, of Hernandez, Solisoro, and Hezana. Uh, as for the second hypothesis, it was predicted that integrated STEM education may have positive, significant effects on the student's uh, problem-solving skill. As the table shows, the test group uh, acquired a higher mean score than the control group here as well. And COBA and significance uh, of less than 0 0.05 also confirmed this hypothesis at a 95% confidence level. Uh, thus, uh, the test group taught by the STEM approach had superior uh, problem-solving skill uh, than the controls. Uh, this is congruent with the studies by Tintonti Gedi, Beharan Aksut, Sahin, and Yuliat. Okay, finally, the third hypothesis presumed that integrated STEM education has positive, significant effects on the students' problem solving sub skills. By evaluating the tables showing the mean pre test and post test scores of both groups, we observed the higher mean score of the test group compared to the control groups. Uh, the ANCOVA table for the three subscales and significance of less than 0 0.05 also showed that uh, at a 95% uh, confidence level, our main hypothesis was confirmed for all the subscales. The test group performed better than the controls in the three problem-solving subscales. Okay, the mean scores of the approach avoidance style were quite uh, intriguing. Accordingly, the control group was less in inclined to so uh, solve problems uh, after the intervention. Meanwhile, the test group showed more interest in facing challenging situation. Okay, this slide is about uh, personal control. Okay. Uh, our finding can be summarized as follows. The STEM approach could influence reasoning and problem-solving skills positively and significantly. The STEM approach can help students resolve issues and face challenges. Uh, given the remarkable impact of this approach, it can be employed to improve science teaching in the schools. Our findings highlight the pivotal rule of STEM in countries like Iran. Uh, the research also suggests the necessity of revising and changing the current educational approaches. In a STEM-based teaching, we seek to associate educational material with the real world. Uh, in this study, uh, the researcher noticed certain inadequacies uh, that must be addressed uh, in the science curriculum of the seventh grade. For instance, no material is presented on the concept of power. Uh, which is essential to associating energy with the physical world. Okay, finally, here are a few uh, research implications. Uh, conducting similar studies on different samples and uh, lessons, evaluating the effects of STEM-based education on various in intellectual skills, uh, finding ways of offering STEM-based teaching to students with special needs and studying the rule of language and literature in prom uh, promoting students' in intellectual skills. Okay, thanks for your attention. If you have any questions, I will be happy to hear them.